Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori Brame and this is Holy City Mystic. Thank you for being here. So we did it. We came to the end. So the last Apex video that I'm going to talk about with the houses is of course the 12th house, which is where we are now. If you don't know anything about yods or how to find them, I have a couple videos talking about the specifics of what they look like and what they mean in a birth chart. Before we dive in, I am going to explain briefly that I use the whole sign system when it comes to determining the yod apex and the bases, just what I'm explaining it. If you are more comfortable with a quadrant base house system like Coke or Placidus, that's totally fine. I put each base that I cover in the title of each video. So just go back and find the base that you want to cover. But the thing is, is if your apex and your base are perfectly quincunx by degree, if you use Coke or Placidus, you might actually have like only three houses in between the two instead of five houses. The 12th house. What is the 12th house and what does it mean to have your apex there? Your apex of your yod in your 12th house has a lot to do with your psychology, your psychological health. It can also be your dreams, intuition, basically everything behind the scenes, everything that's going on back here. And it is quincunxing your fifth house, which is the house of children and creativity, and your seventh house, which has to do with partnerships and marriage relationships. So what does this mean? So basically how yods work, your fifth house and your seventh house get along, and they're both in very irritating aspects to your 12th house. So 12th house things are things that keep popping up for you. So psychological health, or maybe how you speak to yourself, or different instincts that you have. Maybe you're one of those people that has no idea what people are talking about when they're talking about gut instinct. Now your fifth house and your seventh house are why that is impeded. So one of the examples of how this might manifest is maybe you identify as a giver. One of those people that is just so selfless, so emotionally available for everyone else around them that they actually experience a lot of burnout, anxiety, and depression because of that. So they're constantly giving to their kids, fifth house, or they're giving to their partner, seventh house, or even business partner. Maybe they're in some kind of business partnership and they're just like doing so much of the work and they're not really letting the other person have a balanced partnership. They just wanna do everything, everything for everyone. And so that is running into an issue where they can't put up their own psychological boundaries of, okay, I'm not gonna do that. Just as an aside with anything with the 12th house, self boundaries are the most important boundaries that you will ever run into. So say you're trying to set up boundaries with your mom or with work or something like that. You're just so upset because work keeps asking you to do stuff and you're like, I've asked them not to ask me. No, the self boundary that is more important than that is I'm not going to pick up. I am not going to pick up the phone between this hour and this hour because this is my time with my family. Or maybe you have someone in your family who is just like really deep in your business and it makes you very uncomfortable and they ask very personal questions that you're not comfortable revealing to them. Instead of being just so pissed off that somebody else is asking you over and over, literally just stop answering, either answering the phone or you know when they run into that, just being like, I'm not gonna answer that or I'm not gonna talk about that with you or whatever. That is the most important boundary you will have. Another way that this could manifest would be with creativity. Maybe it's the type of thing where you don't feel like you're able to express creativity the way that you need to. And that is definitely affecting your psychological health. And maybe your relationship isn't going the way that you want it to. And so that is also affecting your psychological health. And so finding some way to be okay beyond the external circumstances or you know maybe it's fifth house romance and seventh house relationship maybe the romance in your relationship is something that you're like constantly stressed out about so it might be dead it might also be the type of thing where you're just worried it will die and so having this configuration is something where you're just constantly thinking about it you can't let it go and you need to find a way to be okay no matter what the outside circumstances look like there are several ways that this could go each one of the houses has different manifestations that it could take on in a life. So if you do have this configuration, I would love to know how it's going for you, different stories that you might have that we can kind of compile in the comments so that everybody can have a good idea of how it would look. Of course, the ultimate 
end goal of having a yod in any placement is the idea of mastery. The idea of having so much practice with this lesson that you are able to give that gift back out to the world. So with the apex in the 12th house, you have run into everything, pretty much everything that could make you feel psychologically anxious or depressed or just have poor mental health. And you have found solutions, coping skills, therapists, medication if you need it, you know, just all these things that are able to help you. And then you can spot when other people are going through the same thing and you can tell them what you did to get better. You can also build a relationship with yourself and your inner world that is unmatchable. It's like there's a difference between self-love and self-knowledge and it's like you have both where you appreciate yourself for all the humanity that you are but you also know how many flaws you have you know exactly where you can improve where things are just part of you and you may as well just apologize about them ahead of time but you have that deep knowledge of yourself that deep respect for everything you have to offer the world and also how far you've come to develop all those gifts so again, if this is you, please let me know how it's going and I will talk to you guys next time. Woo, we did all 12. Take care.